very happy to be here once again and welcome to all my friends my brothers and sisters and i'm very excited today uh, to share my other story a few days ago i had a dream uh, it's three ways written on the paper it was written in the french the tour de monde if i try to translate in english tour de monde means return of the universe then i was confused but i knew there is some changes in our world in our universe our topic today is dream big and get up and do it this was my dream from my previous stories when I was young. The dream reminded me my story that by the time I fled from genocide in Rwanda, I didn't know to where I was going. And I had nothing besides my Bible in my hands. I was a 14 years old boy uh, from third year of secondary school. I had no passport, I had no visa. That was my beginning of my long journey to walk the world. I say to walk the world because I had no means of uh, like a bus or a train or any means of transport. I had no money and I was still young. It was said, whenever I look back today, I just see the movie or film of my life. At that time, I didn't worry. All I wanted was to finish school, just to find a way to complete my high school. That's all what I wanted. I didn't worry about money. I could hear the bombs swinging far from us. So I didn't want to continue hearing that sound because it was a terrifying sound. But when I get to the other side, I just want to finish school, to find any way to finish school. So that was a turning point of my life. Now it's almost 30 years in exile. I still want more achievements in my life. So journey continues. When I was in the neighborhood country, Burundi, I realized that to go back to school was impossible because people were dying in big numbers back home. My family members were killed and no choice for me except to keep walking as far as I could. I walked through the jungles of Burundi, Tanzania, Kenya, Malawi, and other countries. Tanzania is a big country and got intense jungles with very dangerous animals. But guess what? I was just frozen. Fear was gone. 80 for anything to happen. That journey took me 80 years to get to Cape Town in South Africa, where I am today. May God bless this country. I'm now here in Cape Town for 21 years. But yet, I'm not where I want to be yet. I had one hope, and that hope was that one day, I will be able to finish school and I did even though I could not get a chance to go to university as I wanted I'm happy to see my direction and no doubt that I will reach my high potential I'm not ready to give up we are in the knowing era where the world has changed changed so much 
Technology is advancing daily, whereby no one has excuse that he cannot do or learn something new. If you want to start a livestock business, for example, or farming, YouTube is open university now. You can learn anything for free from YouTube. Just use your smartphone. All you need is your smartphone with an internet. If you have a computer, that's going to be good and you can be ready to go. Why are you waiting? If you have your smartphone, start today. Dream big and get up and do it. Have a faith in yourself, no matter how obstacles you meet along your journey. Keep your head up knowing that is going to happen. Ignore how is going to, you are going to make it. Ignore it. Do what you can do wherever you are now. And leave the rest to the superpower beyond your reach. Discipline yourself in accomplishing those small tasks you set for yourself and do all you can do in a good way. We are heading to the full awareness of who we are and why we are here. We are not just here by mistake. No, there is a reason why we are here. Once you find why you are here, that's awareness and the next no, we follow. Not only that, but many more. So never give up. If you see difficulties in whatever you are doing today, just keep going, keep trying. One day you're gonna look back and ask yourself, how did I do this? You will be amazed how you did achieve it. And your life will start changing gradually. And you will start feeling motivated, happy, fearless. That's, how, that's what I wish for everyone. Remember, all I wanted when I was free from Rwanda is just to study. I didn't know no one the other side of the world. I didn't even know the place. I didn't know anything. I didn't know how I gonna eat. I didn't know how I gonna sleep. But I was forced to go. You can't hear the bombs and then stay one place with you. I believe no one will wait for the bomb to come and land on him. The bomb can destroy you. Is dangerous. I don't wish anyone to see those things. Remember, we are amazing creatures, guys, and we can do anything we want to do. No one can, and you, you can't. We all equally created. Nothing can stop you unless you give up. Therefore, dream big, have a faith and discipline yourself then see how unstoppable creature you become please tell me in the comment section below about how you view this article is it helpful i believe that i love you all and bye bye thank you so much